parking area is. It's just on the side of the road. But this is what people look for. Well, you probably can't see it because of the sun. But there's a red circle right there on that tree. So your trail's right down here. This is a very slippery trail. And actually the leaves being down and wet doesn't really help. Adds to it. And yeah, I got cotton on. I grabbed something orange because today is the first day of rifle season for hunting. And I don't want some lunatic to shoot at me before realizing I'm not a deer. If you're going to do uh, Red Fort Falls, I strongly suggest you don't do like me and um, hike by yourself because it is very slippery and in a gorge. It's good to have somebody with you. Well, here's our first creek crossing. There actually used to be a rope that went across this, but I guess after a while it dry rots. in here it's very easy to lose your trail. Came out that way. I guess I'll go in that way. It's a lot of little campsites. Pretty sure I'm going the wrong way but I'm still gonna go up this way and check out some of this. Then I'll head back down to the falls. Never been this far up the trail before. That was by accident, so I'm gonna turn around and go back to the falls. <laughs> Makes better sense. When you come in and you cross the creek the first time, go to the right, you're gonna cross the creek again. If you're going against the water, you're going the wrong way. If you're coming down with the water, you are coming the right way. If you come in the fall when it's wet, I strongly suggest the trekking pole. It will definitely help you because it's slick as snot out here. We are on top of the falls. And now for some rock climbing. I got a ways to go before I'm at the bottom. Still rock climbing. Beautiful water flow. I'm almost at the bottom, and I'm seriously hoping there's another way out, because I don't want to climb back up this fall. It's beautiful, but kind of dangerous as wet as it is. There's the wall I just scaled. Can't believe I just climbed that damn thing.
that's enough rock climbing for one day. Let's go find another waterfall. I don't know if there was another way out or not, but I came back out the way I came in. So I wouldn't get lost. Definitely outside my element. Worth it. It was it was gushing pretty good. I came to this uh, waterfall about three years ago with my brother. I damn sure don't remember doing all that. But it was before I started putting videos together. On to the next one. Actually, uh, another set of hikers in uh, sweatsuits going to attempt it. No water, no pack. They're contemplating going across that water because it is a lot higher than what it usually is. Usually you could uh, frogger across it. There's no froggering across it today. It's a beautiful sight. <laughs> I'm looking for a place called the beauty spot and I'm hoping this is the right direction because if not I'll probably get shot at climbing it's gonna be beautiful you can tell you're definitely in the higher elevations into the sun. I hope you can see it. The beauty spot. Very beautiful. I guess young kids call it the makeout spot. I don't know if I'll be able to make it to that other waterfall or not. We'll see if we don't run out of there. to put it in four-wheel drive but did do a little bit of slipping around I cannot believe cars are in here about this one <laughs> doesn't look like a trail out here and the vehicles are from Florida and Virginia and it is hunting season I'm gonna walk around a little bit follow the creek and then get my ass out of this bad boy town Still following the water. Good water flow. Rocky. Submerged in water. Trail. <laughs> Good thing my feet are already wet. Lower Higgins Falls, I'm sure. And I'm going to keep going to Upper. Definitely pretty up in here. But I 
should have brought my um, trekking pole. I left it in the Jeep. Because I wasn't really sure if this was the place or not. But it is. Still following the water. And I'm hoping that's not the mountain I have to climb. <laughs> water on both sides of me now. I don't know if you can see that. Good sign. These wet ass leaves. Probably should have turned around and got the trekking pole. I'll take the step, slide back. Take the step, slide back. <laughs> Okay. Did I mention I wish I would have brought my trekking pole? Get out of here before we lose daylight. Thanks for watching my videos. That was beautiful. Definitely worth the climb. Short hike. If you're going to see Red Fork Falls, I suggest you go to Rock Creek Falls as well because it's right by it. I've been to that one a few times, even when it was frozen. I am the world's worst hiker uphill, so if I can do it, you can do it. You got this.